suffocating. I want to feel love. Yeah, there you go. Something right there for you. Ain't all that great, you know. Just trying a little bit, you know. It'll do whatever floats your boat. All right, people, how we been? It's that time again. I haven't done a movie review in so long since last fall, but here we are. What is it about this time? You know, Spectra. One of the most expensive movies ever made up today. That's pretty amazing how expensive it was to make that movie. It was pretty cool. It's about nearly two and a half hours long. It's like the 24th movie now. And it's amazing how successful this franchise has been. It's like, oh, there's another one, and it just keeps getting successful. It's like, oh, I'm tired of this movie. Like some franchises and all that. Oh, I need to stop making them. But the Bond movies, hey, they just keep going. And I also like how this one has a good intro in the opening credits. It's pretty amazing how they do that for each movie. But for Spectra, it has its own song. It fits, it fits it pretty well once you start to uh, see the movie and how it picked off from Skyfall. The bad thing about it was I was sleepy, so I kind of dozed off a little bit in the middle of the movie, and not that it was boring or anything, I was just sleepy, I didn't get no good sleep, so I just got tired during that time at night, I mean, especially when the time changes, but yeah. Beginning, I like how the, it starts off with the music. I mean, the music, I like how it, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, kind of music gets you going. And it's just funny how he always gets the dang ticks. What is it up with that? It's like, he tries to save the women, but they don't want to be around him, like, push him away and all that. Like, yeah, he's trying to help your butt, but you don't want to get helped. Then next thing you know, they get caught. <laughs> they get caught by the bad guys, but somehow it worked because sooner or later, he's got to come save the women, the girls, like in all, some of the other movies. And hey, he gets the women. It works. Uh, lady in theater. Ew. <laughs> the people like, ew. Ugh. Because of a part in the movie. I think it was in a trailer, so. You, you'll see what I'm talking about. Batista's in it. Yeah. Q from Skyfall. The one thing I noticed when, when he first showed up in Skyfall was it was just funny how he came in. Because I noticed how when he was talking, his nose is moving. Every time he talks, it was just kind of funny to look at. How his nose kept moving. But in this one, it wasn't that noticeable that much, but still, it's like, oh, yeah, it's the guy with the nose that was moving when he was talking. But that was funny to me. But other than that, yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, what do you, what do you expect? It's a John, James Bond movie that never fails, to me, in my opinion. I always liked it. Ever since, you know, Nintendo 64, I've got to go back and watch all the old school classic movies now to catch up. And, yeah, another hit. And if you're the person that likes to sit through the credits to see if anything happens, you, it'll just be words. I mean, you already know how many movies Daniel Craig is going to do with James Bond. I mean, you'll, you'll see at the very end if you sit through the credits. It's just, it's no, there's no scene or anything. It's a go. I like it. I probably get about 4.5 stars. Go check it out as you wish. Bond. James Bond. I won't be long. Why did you come? I came here to kill you. And I thought you came here to die. Spectre. Spectra. Spectra. Spectra? The octopus? I like the octopus though. 